Well, if you have filled up on gas lately, you know the pain of the pump is uh, pretty bad as uh, gas prices, high gas prices, continue to rise, now reaching jaw dropping levels from coast to coast. Prices not seen in 14 years. The national average hitting $4.10. New York and Pennsylvania, those numbers are even higher. New York's average price for a gallon of gasoline this morning sitting at $4.29 in Pennsylvania. That number is 428 and you know that will number will probably change later today. Locally, those numbers are similar across the twin tiers. Prices are hovering around 430 depending on what gas station you go to. One of the lowest prices in the southern tier, 409 at the Sunoco in Big Flats. One of the lowest prices in the northern tier, 419 at the Sheets in Williamsport. As the gas prices soar, lawmakers are trying to pass legislation to keep more money in your pocket. Our capital correspondent, Jamie Delight, explains how they would like to help relieve some of the financial burdens on New Yorkers. From driving your kids to school to picking up groceries at the store, every time you drive your car, it's costing you more at the pump. And now, even more so. You're going to pay your NIMO or you're going to put gas in your vehicles to go to work. It's sort of kind of like or you put food in your table and not travel as much. These are tough decisions families are having to face. These are costs that are just astronomical and we're asking people to, to, to basically buckle up. No, we need to do, we need to give them some relief. We need to give them some hope. Republican Senator Peter Oberacker represents Central New York. He is now sponsoring the New York Gas Tax Relief Act that, if passed, would suspend New York's gas tax until September. Currently, I'm told New York's tax on gasoline is about 48 cents per gallon, and diesel fuel is nearly 47 cents per gallon. 50 cents a gallon, as I said, could save up to $1,200 a year for a family uh, living in a city like Schenectady. Assemblyman Angelo Santa Barbara is trying to pass similar legislation, but his would suspend the gas tax for a full year. So what does this mean to the trucking industry? They have reached out to me. 50 cents a gallon could save them more than $50,000 a year on shipping, uh, just on average. That savings would be passed down directly to consumers. When asked about suspending gas tax today in Rochester, Governor Hochul saying this. It's not settled yet. It's absolutely under review. Reporting at the Capitol, I'm Jamie DeLine. The rising cost of gas is leaving many people feeling the strain on their pockets, and it could soon be trickling up to tourist spots. Experts warn that higher prices could lead to fewer people taking to the road this coming spring and summer and turn of lack of tourism. But officials say that if you plan ahead, traveling won't break the bank. The first, you have to figure out what it is you want to do. And then secondly, where where can you get that same experience closer to home if you're concerned about the gas prices? The third the third one is, you know, go with a buddy, you know, um, share the cost, you know, split the cost and um, and cut down on on the expenses that way as well. And Cherry also says be advised that as gas prices go up, airline costs do as well.